Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. We've been following a theme through First Peter that uh, deals with uh, the fact that we as Christians have the ability to uh, ha live a less complicated life and a less stressful life because of basically two things. Because we have a faith that is more valuable than gold, which is perishable. We found that in chapter 1. And because of the faith that we have, we are also very special in the eyes of God and set apart before Him. And so we don't have to chase after money. We don't have to try to impress people with our looks. We don't have to be a people pleaser uh, in trying to get people to like us. And as we continue on in this theme in chapter 5, we're going to find something else that is kind of a derivative of this. And that is that we don't have to be anxious like the rest of the world has to be anxious. This is found in chapter 5 of 1 Peter in verse 7, where he says, Casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. You know, the faith that we possess is very precious in the eyes of God. And because we possess this faith, it makes us a special people, as we talked about before. And because we are the special people of God, set apart to God, consecrated to God, we are his own special possession, his uh, peculiar people, we can uh, see that he cares for us very much because of these things. And because we know that he cares for us, we don't have to be so anxious about... Uh, the things that perhaps the, the rest of the world is anxious about. Uh, we can think about the fact that God cares for us. And when we go to him in prayer, when we do bring him our anxieties and the things that are weighing on our hearts, we know that we're bringing, him, bringing them to a God who, yes, is powerful, that is mighty, that can accomplish all things, the one that Jesus said that nothing is impossible with, but also with one who cares for us very much. We have a special relationship with God. That's an awesome thing. That's a wonderful thing to think about. And we have this special relationship with the creator of all things. And the fact that he cares for us should give us confidence in knowing that whatever we encounter, whatever we come across, he's going to help us through it. And, doesn't, and we've talked about this before in previous devotions doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to whisk away all of our problems and that we're never going to have anything uh, to be concerned with, that somehow the rest of our lives are just going to be uh, full of um, just level path and easy going, that sort of thing. Of course, we're going to still encounter trials. Anyone who reads through the New Testament realizes that the people of God also suffer and they also deal with uh, tragedy and trials and things like that. Matter of fact, the, uh, the book of 1 Peter is written to Christians who were suffering and going through trials. But what he does do for us is help us through those trials. Yes, sometimes he does rescue us. Sometimes he does change the situation uh, and, and cause it to uh, work out in a favorable way to where our anxieties uh, are taken away and because of our circumstances and the way that he's working in them, uh, we don't have to be anxious because he takes care of these physical, uh, outward, external things. But I would submit that perhaps maybe the way that the Lord works maybe more often is what he does internally within us. When we encounter trials and hardships and difficulties, we know that God will grant us the strength the comfort, the consolation that we need to get through the trial. And that sometimes is even more helpful than if he just changed the circumstances. Especially when we look back. When we look back and we see what we've gone through, we've seen uh, the difficulty, and we can see uh, God's fingerprints on everything that we did, how he helped us, how he strengthened us, how he comforted us, uh, how he helped us through it all. Uh, that sometimes is even more impressive than if he just fixed the problem for us. And so we have this God that cares for us, who sometimes, yes, fixes the problem or deals with the circumstances and, and makes our trial go away. But then 
also works internally with us to give us the strength to get through the trial. But either way he works, whether it's externally or internally, he helps us through the trials that we uh, encounter. And he helps us because of the fact that he does care for us. We are his special people. We are the ones that possess that very precious faith that he loves so much. And so he cares for us. He's watching over us. He wants what's best for us and what's best for uh, people in general. And he's going to work and, and weave and, and, and cause to happen what is good, as Romans uh, chapter 8 teaches us. He causes all things to work for good for those who love him. And we can bank on that and realize that, yeah, he's going to work something good out of this situation. And even while he's working something good out of this situation, he's going to give me the strength to endure. Uh, once again, because he cares for me. So this is another advantage that we have as believers. We have the creator of the universe, the mighty God, who cares for us, who has a special relationship with us, that we can go to in prayer when things get thick, when things get difficult, when we get between a rock and a hard place, we can look up to our Lord and Savior and, and know that he cares for us and he's going to come through for us, either by changing things externally or strengthening us internally. Either way, he's going to help us get through it. So let's be comforted by today's reading today. With that, I do thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.